Hello everyone, welcome to the video on pharmacological classification of the drugs. In this video, I will explain about anti-emetic drugs. All these drugs I am referring KD Tripathi textbooks. For further knowledge, please refer the textbook. Now, while coming to the vomiting or emesis, it is controlled by a center known as vomiting center. This center is present in medulla oblongata. Now, this center gets inputs from various other centers which causes emesis. The other centers are chemoreceptor trigger zone, which is present outside blood-brain barrier. This is the center which is activated while taking anti-cancer chemotherapeutic drugs. There is another center known as vestibular center which is present in our inner ear. This is responsible for balance and this center will get activated during morning sickness and motion sickness. And there are some other centers which are present in our stomach and intestine. They get activated with poisonous food or with certain chemicals. Now, all these responses are mediated through certain receptors. The receptors are muscarinic receptors, histamine receptors, 5-HT3 serotonin receptors, neurokinin receptors and dopamine receptors. So, by blocking all these receptors, you can bring about anti-emetic action. Let us see one by one. Anti-muscarinic agents, hyoscine, scopolamine, other drugs. Anti-histamine uh, agents, diphenhydramine, dimenhydrinate, promethazine, meclizine. Anti-dopamine agents, chlorpromazine, trifluopromazine, prochlorperazine. All of them are azines because they are derivatives of phenothiazines. Now, NK1, neurokinin 1 receptor antagonist, apripitant, phosapripitant. And finally, 5-HT3 receptor antagonist, ondansetran, granisetran. Along with that, there are some other agents known as prokinetic agents. These agents help relieving in gastric reflex. So, they also helps in gastric emptying and reduces emetic effect. Drugs like mosapride, cisapride, metoclopramide, domperidone are example for this class. And this is about anti-emetic agents. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.